What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping by today. Today's Taco Tuesday is going to be Pico Leo. Now, I've done this recipe probably about three other times and the one thing that I like about this recipe is that it's very versatile. You can add whatever you want to it. I've done potatoes, corn, green beans, carrots. Today, I'm going to keep it simple. We're going to use some ground beef and some potatoes. I might dice up uh, or throw on some diced tomatoes. Not sure yet. But that's it. Aside from the seasoning, sometimes less is more. I actually prefer it that way, so that's what we're gonna do today. You ready? Let's get started. All right, you guys, so first thing we're gonna do is I got a pan here with about a, a uh, tablespoon of uh, oil. I just used canola oil. And what we're gonna do is I've taken half a uh, large white, white onion and diced it up here. We're just going to uh, dump that in the pan. And we're just gonna saute this down a little bit. Let it kind of get translucent for just a couple of minutes. I'm not trying to cook it all the way down because it's gonna continue to cook as we cook the uh, the whole uh, pico de So, But I do wanna kind of saute it a little bit. So let's just go for a few minutes. All right, you guys, these onions have been sauteing for just a bit. You can see they're starting to get a little brown, which is perfect. You don't want them to get too cooked yet. To this, I'm going to take, uh, I, I took about four or five garlic cloves and I just minced them up. That's what I have here. I'm gonna add this to the mix. Get that in there. And we're going to let this saute together for just a bit. I am actually going to hit it with just a little bit of table salt and table pepper. Just a little bit. That's it. And we're going to let this saute down for just a couple of minutes. We don't want to let it go too long. You don't want that garlic to burn. So make sure your fire, uh oh, not high, low, go low. Make sure your fire is to a, a medium or a low to a, a low medium kind of setting. Oh man, this smells so good. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but for me, the smell of onions and garlic sauteing together, oh, mama. Ooh, doggy. That's some good stuff. So we're gonna let this saute for just a bit and then we're gonna add the ground beef to this. The ground beef I'm using is an 80-20. So we'll let the saute down for, for about a minute and then we'll add the ground beef. All right, that's been sauteing. Here I got a, a pound of ground beef. We're gonna add this to the mix. Get this open and dump it in here. Ooh, oh, stay in the pan, stay in the pan. And we'll just break this up. Again, this is 80-20 ground beef. So I'm just going to break this up and I'm going to let it cook along with the onions and garlic. And once this gets um, a little more than halfway done, I'll pick back up. Actually, one thing I want to do really quickly also to this ground beef, since I just added it, I'm going to add a little more salt. Table salt, table pepper. I am gonna add some other ingredients uh, in just a bit, but I wanna add some pepper and salt to that as well. So that's it, I'll mix it up and then I'll pick back up in just a bit. Hey you guys, this ground beef has been cooking for a few minutes, probably about five minutes. And I was debating on, I mean, at this point, I would normally drain the grease, but I don't know if you guys can make this out. There really isn't that much grease in here. There's actually very little. So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like that. But if you're using like a 73, 17 um, mixture of ground beef, it's probably a good idea to drain it. This one though was an 80-20, actually it still looked pretty lean. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I've taken one large potato. Let me turn this down a little bit. 
to a simmer. All right, I've taken one large potato and I just diced it up into small cubes. You guys, I mean, you could, you know, use whatever size you like. I've had it where the potatoes were, the chunks were pretty big. I've had it where they were really small. Uh, I think, you know, something like this here is a good size for me. That's what I like. And um, not only is it easier to eat, but it's going to cook quicker. So I'm going to take that. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, before I do that, one second. I got to grab another ingredient. All right, I almost forgot a step. Before I add the potatoes, I'm actually going to add some flour. I've got about two tablespoons of flour here that I'm going to dump in here. What this is going to do is going to thicken that gravy as it cooks. I'm not sure if I'm going to need all two. You know what? Let's just do it. Two whole teaspoons of flour. I'm going to dump that in there. Mix this up. Cook that flour down. And once we add our liquid, that flour is going to help it uh, thicken up. So it actually cooks in pretty quickly. I don't know if you could tell, but I could tell. It's already thickening up. So to this, stay in the pan, stay in the pan. To this, now I'm going to add the potatoes that I showed you previously. And these are uncooked, or this is a uncooked potato. It's just one large potato. And again, the ground beef was just one pound, one potato. That's perfect amount for the missus and I. So we're going to add the potatoes to that. And this is where we're going to start adding our liquid. Get that mixed up real good. To start off, I'm going to add one cup of water. I'm really going to add enough water just to cover it, but I'm going to start with one cup and see if that does it. If not, I'm going to have to add some more. So, yeah, so that's one cup. I'm going to add another uh, half cup of water to this. All right, so here's another half cup of water. Let's see if that's enough. That may be enough. Dump that in there. Again, the, the amount of water is really just going to depend on how much you're cooking. Um, if you're cooking for more than two people or a few people, then you're obviously going to need a bigger pan and, and add more water. But this should be enough to feed four to five people. So I'm going to do that here. And I'm actually going to add just a, just a tad. A tad more water. That's a fourth of a cup. So that's that. So, uh, you know, 12 ounces plus a fourth of a cup. So that's what I added. <clears throat> Get this fire going to this. Again, I have it on a low to medium simmer. To this, we're going to add the other ingredients. So here I have eight ounces of uh, tomato sauce right here. I'm going to add that to the mix. So I've got the tomato sauce in here. Give that a mix. I probably should have went with a bigger pan because <laughs> this thing is almost overflowing. But that's all right. It'll work. Listen, if you're not getting your stove dirty, you're not cooking. <laughs> I cleaned it anyway. So to this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of ground comino or cumin here. Give that a little mix real quick. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of let me get this real quick. Actually, half a tablespoon of garlic powder. So 
So we're just going to give this a mix. Now, I think I'm going to add, I, I think I mentioned earlier, adding a can of diced tomatoes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add that or not. If I do, it won't be till a little later. So at this point, I'm going to turn the heat up a little more than a medium. And we let this come to a boil or a simmer, and then we're going to shut the heat down. All right, so I got all the seasonings in. I'm gonna give it a quick taste before I need a, or before I decide if I wanna make any adjustments. Oh, that's good. However, I think I'm gonna add a little more ground comino or cumin. There's only a little bit left in this container, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole thing. And I'm gonna add a little more garlic powder salt and pepper so <clears throat> and I'm just kind of eye, uh, eyeballing it here some salt <clears throat> some pepper I'll give it a mix and then we're gonna let it simmer until it's done it'll probably go for about 20 minutes I'll turn the heat down to a medium low and let it go from there for about 20 to maybe 30 minutes. And once I pick, you can already see it's starting to thick up from that uh, flour and uh, water combining together. And that's what you want to see. So we'll let it simmer. Next time I pick back up, this bad boy should be done. Oh, you know what? Um, I've got, I'm, I, I think I'm, uh, I think I am going to add that can of diced tomatoes. So let me add that in here. All right, you guys, negative. <laughs> I'm not going to add, uh, I've, I've got a can here of diced tomatoes. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking of just leaving it the way it is. I don't know. Maybe I add a few. You know what? Let's go ahead and add a few, but I don't want to. I don't want to add too many, but I already opened the can. I might as well use some of it. I was going to use it. Decided not to use it. This is a 14 and a half ounce can. You know what? I'm just going to use half of it. What the hell? That's it. Get this a good mix, and just let it simmer. I was going to put a lid on it, but I don't think I'm going to need that lid. We'll just let it simmer just like this. So, I like the, that it's already, you know, thickened up some. That's what I'm looking for. Are right, you guys, this big deal is done. As you can see, it's thickened up perfectly. That's exactly what I'm looking for right there. So, it looks good. We'll let it cool off for just a bit and then we're gonna give it a taste test and see what it tastes like look at that are right, you guys this speaker deal is done this is what it looks like this is perfect it's not too runny it's thick just where i like it which makes it perfect for a taco so i've got a fresh tortilla here we're gonna give this bad boy a taste are right, you guys got the taco here Pico de Old Taco, we're gonna give it a taste. Mm. That's just so damn good. <laughs> Simple but delicious. Oh my word. When I go out somewhere and uh, you know I'm craving a Pico de Old Taco. This is what I'm expecting. Good gosh almighty. Pick him, I'm, I'm picking up that uh, ground comino, cumin. That's some good stuff. Man, oh man. This is excellent. I got a... Uh oh, I almost dropped part of the taco out from the bottom. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.
That's good. That is damn good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Listen, if you're looking for a simple but really good Bigel Deal recipe, this is it. You got to give it a shot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Take care.